Could Square Enix have done a better job on their E3 presentation? Absolutely. But does it really matter in the grand scheme of things? No, it really doesn't. Kafi here, and welcome back to Kafi's Corner. Today, we're going to discuss the possible reasoning behind Square's lackluster E3 presentation. First off, Sony doesn't even have a dedicated presence at E3 this year. They actually haven't since 2018, instead opting to provide a Sony Direct, <clears throat> excuse me, a Sony State of Play instead. And what recent game was a Sony exclusive for over a year after its initial release? That's right, Final Fantasy VII Remake. What upcoming game that people are really excited for will also likely be a Sony exclusive? That would be Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. And what upcoming game is already a PS5 timed exclusive, despite it not even being released yet? Well, that would be Final Fantasy XVI. So you see, there's really no need to worry. Square Enix already has their fair share of titles in the works. There was no way we were ever going to see all of these cool titles in just one single 40-minute presentation. It, it wasn't going to happen as much as we all would have liked it to. And other than people's high expectations, it was really the 20 minutes plus spent on Guardians which killed the presentation for most people. I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy is pretty awesome, and I totally plan on buying it, but I think 20 minutes was a little bit excessive. I feel that they really oversold this game. Perhaps just a 30 minute show would have went over better if people knew that it was only a half an hour going into it. Expectations then would have been more realistic. The games they did show at E3 looked fantastic. Improving upon Marvel's Avengers was Black Panther War for Wakanda. Babylon's Fall looks extremely intriguing and promises to be a lot of fun with both its story and its combat. Don't forget about Life is Strange True Colors, which is another immediate must-buy that will have copies flying off the shelves, especially since Square's now ditching the episodic format. And have I mentioned Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin? Not yet. The game looks phenomenal, and I don't think I've been this excited about a game since Final Fantasy vs. 13. The combat's as engaging as it gets and brutal to boot. So, if you're worried about Square Enix having a bad E3 showing, please, don't be. At least wait until the next state of play. I promise you, it will be one for the ages. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Kafi, and I hope to see you later on another Kafi's Corner. But more importantly, have yourself a great day.